Shock as Denmark's Christian Eriksen collapses on the pitch at the European Football Championship. While well, the Danish star footballer Christian Eriksen is in a stable condition in hospital after collapsing during his nation's European Championship match against Finland. The 29-year-old suddenly fell to the ground in front of his home supporters in Copenhagen. The team's doctor says the midfielder received a life-saving cardiac massage treatment on the pitch. The game was suspended but later resumed at the request of both teams. We'll take a look at uh, some of the uh, papers, in particular the front pages. Here's the Sunday Mirror. This story, as you might imagine, dominating plenty of the newspaper front pages. Miracle on the pitch, uh, the headline there. It's one of a number of front pages, as I say, on the Danish player Christian Eriksen and the life-saving efforts of his teammates and medics on the pitch last night. Well, not surprisingly, that story is dominating the back pages as well. Now, look at that image. It's so powerful. Sunday Express says sport has been rocked by his collapse. That is the picture, the image there of his teammates all huddled together. Incredible scenes as they protected him mm -hmm. from the cameras, basically, as the medics worked on him. That's right, yeah. The leaders at the G7 summit agree on a huge spending plan to counter the influence of China, but it's not clear how it will be financed. Artillery attacks on a hospital and residential area in the northern Syrian city of Afrin have killed at least 13 people and wounded dozens of others. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said the dead included a doctor, three hospital staff and two children. A sixth round of talks to resurrect the Iran nuclear deal is underway in Vienna. Iranian officials met representatives from China, France, Germany, the EU and Britain, but will not hold face-to-face -face talks with the United States. The European Union called the discussions intense. Algerians have largely shunned a parliamentary election denounced by opponents of the government as a charade. After polls closed, the election authority said less than a third of people entitled to vote actually showed up to cast their ballot. The Copa America football tournament has suffered, suffered another setback after 12 members of the Venezuela squad tested positive for COVID-19. They were due to play the opening match against the hosts Brazil on Sunday. The health authorities did not specify how many of those affected were players. The United Nations Human Rights Chief Michelle Bachelet is warning of a military build-up and rising violence in Myanmar. Sweeping arrests of activists, journalists and opponents of the military continue and the UN say they are deeply troubled by reports of detainees being tortured. There are growing concerns for an environment activist who was arrested earlier this week by security forces. The family has told the BBC they fear he will not come home. To Nigeria now where police have forcefully dispersed protesters in the country's two cities of Lagos and Abuja. Activists called nationwide protests on Saturday to spotlight increasing insecurity following the rising rate of abductions and killings in the country. The president who came to tea. The Queen will welcome Joe Biden to Windsor this afternoon. Sold $28 million to number 107. A mystery bidder pays £20 million to fly into space with the boss of Amazon.